Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about how Redux is changing now that we have hooks introduced in React. And those who have done a lot of Redux programming, they know that Redux can be quite cumbersome, especially because on every page where you use Redux, you have to do some wiring, like uh, use that connect from Re React Redux and do map the state uh, to prop and map the dispatch to prop, which is quite cumbersome. Uh, and now that we have hooks in React, you can do things hooks way. And Redux has made few changes to support that. And they are very positive change, and it would make your code look uh, much simpler. So this is a must feature to check it out. And again, this is recently released, so it's in a, actually a better version, uh, but you can try it out right now. But before we start, I wanna give you a little puzzle. Uh, I'm sure you have heard of this uh, light bulb joke uh, where it says, how many React engineers does it take to change a light bulb? So think about it and I'll give you the answer uh, at the end of the video. Now, it doesn't have to be a fixed answer. I'm gonna give you my little answer and you can think of your and give it to me uh, in a comment. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so we need to install the Redux and React Redux for this project. And as I said, I've created this project using a Create React App a version 3.0, okay, which has hooks in it. So let's install Redux and React Redux. So I would say from the command line, I can say npm install Redux at next and React Redux at next. Okay, so now if I look at the package or JSON, I would see Redux. And this is the, as I said, this is not a fixed version. That's why it's a, it's a better version. That's why you see this is a dash RC. And also React Redux, which is 7.1. This has the, the new X functionality. All right, so uh, if you know how to use Redux, it has to be, uh, the store has to be global. So if I go inside index.js, here I can set it up. So let's import our uh, create store from Redux and also import provider from React Redux. And now we can actually wrap our application with the provider so that I, we can use a store globally. So I would say uh, provider and I would wrap it around my app component, which is my root component. Okay, so we still need to set up the, the store, but for that we need reducer. Now this hasn't changed as you can see uh, from Redux, uh, but which is fine because this is, you have to do only once in this index.js. Uh, you don't need to do this on every single page. So things that you have to do in every single page uh, are changing. So let's uh, create our reducer. So I'm gonna create a folder called reducers. And here we'll, I'll create my root reducer. So I would say, root reducer.js. So for the state, I'm gonna have a very simple state, a counter, right? Uh, since we're gonna understand this, how it works, we don't need to create a very complex example. Uh, so let's create our initial state. So this is pretty much like the old way. And I will have counter, uh, let's set as, let's say zero. I will have my root reducer. And this takes two arguments. Remember, uh, state and action. And I can set default parameter for this. Uh, set this initial state as a default state uh, because the first time when we initialize it, uh, we would need that, right? And inside we can have a switch statement. So I'll have switch. Our action would have type. I can say case, let's say increment, 
and here we're gonna return our state by adding let's say one to it so every time user clicks on a button increment it should increase our counter by one counter the value should be let's say state dot counter plus one let's have a second case let's say case decrement so it should reduce it by one. So I'd say return, and I can just copy paste this. And this time, I have to reduce it by one. Oh, I forgot to use colon here. That's why it's giving this error. And then let's say if user provides action that is not increment or decrement something else, in that case, we wanna have a default behavior. And I want to say uh, return the state back. Okay, so I have my root reducer. So I need to use that here inside the index.js. So I'll create a store. So I can say const store equal to create store, which we imported. And I will simply pass the root reducer. And when I do that, I would need to still import the root reducer. So I would say import root reducer from reducers and root reducers. Well, this is supposed to be capital P. And then we will have store here, pass as globally. So I would have a store equal to store. Okay, so we have plugged the Redux in inside our app. Okay, so now let's go back to our app.js where we're gonna use the Redux. Now this is where the changes are happening. So instead of using the connect and all that stuff, we're gonna do things hoax way. So we need to import few things from uh, React Redux. Okay, and what are we importing? So we're gonna import use selector and use dispatch all right so we need to use this hook two hooks use selector and use dispatch so the to use dispatch would give us a dispatch which you can use here so we can say const uh, dispatch equal to use dispatch remember every hook has its own signature and this is the signature of use dispatch so it give you it gives you uh, an object dispatch, which you, now you can use to dispatch actions. All right. And second thing we need to get is the state, right? In this case, is the counter. So I can say const counter uh, equal to use selector, and which is nothing but state. The callback function that returns state dot counter okay so let's repeat this again so i need to import two things uh, use selector and use dispatch and use selector will use to get the state uh, from redux and dispatch would be our dispatch that you can use to dispatch actions so this is this is replacing the mapping of the state and mapping of the dispatch Okay, so inside here, I would need to use the counter so we can see what the state is. So I can say counter is nothing but uh, this counter, right? That we got it from the state. And we need uh, some sort of button that allows us to increment and decrement. So I would have a button and there will be an on click event equal to it's a callback function all it does is dispatches action so we can use this dispatch and all we need to pass is the action type so i can say type is uh, this is the one we're going to use we already have defined it and i can say increment here obviously this should be inside i think there's some issue here let's fix this okay looks like it should work Okay, so now let's run our project, so npm start. And we'll keep our fingers crossed for any errors. 
All right, the provider is not defined. I think I know why that is because I think I got a lowercase provider and I'm using uppercase here. It's supposed to be uppercase. Also, also the second issue is at the root reducer, I need to export it, which I haven't done so. So I would say export uh, default root reducer. And now we have our thing running. I can increment it, it works fine. And now let's add the functionality to reduce by one. So I can co copy the whole thing here and paste it. And then now instead of dispatching increment, it would say decrement. And we already have that in, a, uh, in the, inside the reducer. So that should work. So now you can see it's pretty cool. Now, remember uh, those who know uh, or at least trying out hooks, you already know there is a thing called hook call use reducer, which is not actually Redux. Uh, it doesn't have that global state. You cannot use Redux thunk with it. Uh, so if you want to go properly, you need to use Redux library and use selector and use dispatch. All right, so that's it folks. And uh, now let's have the answer to that joke that I already uh, told you in the beginning. How many React engineers do we need to screw a light bulb? And the answer is, at least my answer is, only one, but uh, he should build a custom hook for that. Uh, but do, do tell me your version of this. Uh, this could be fun. And I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, please like, like, subscribe, and provide a nice comment. Thank you.